your friendly neighborhood wine mom, and if you're anything like me, you believe that a glass of wine at 8 p.m. makes you a better mom. So pour yourself a glass and let's talk. I'm super into these little personal size bottles lately, especially of bubbly. This is Prosecco, and usually when you open a whole bottle, you kind of need to finish it because the bubbles go away and then it's gross. But now when you have these little fools, I don't think these have a cork. I gotta use a blanket for this. Oh. Hey! So there's a topic that's been running pretty rampant on Facebook and I don't understand why it's so controversial. We're gonna talk about it tonight. So let's discuss the worst parts about breastfeeding. Fair warning, I am pro breastfeeding. So if you don't like it, you've been warned. You don't have to watch this. You can close it and go on with your day and not leave a crappy comment. Thanks. So first, judgy people. I don't understand why other people who either don't have children at all or don't breastfeed involve themselves in this breastfeeding debate. Like for example, this guy that I'm friends with on Facebook who doesn't have any children posted a status that said, just saw a mom nursing on the subway. Too much? I think so. And I saw that and I was like, all right, mommy time. First of all, that mom is nursing her child on the subway for the benefit of everyone around her so they don't have to deal with a shrieking banshee for the entire subway ride. Second, a mom can't determine when her child is going to be hungry. I would like to see you try reasoning with a newborn. No, now is not the time that you're allowed to eat. You're gonna have to wait till mom's at home alone in privacy. Good luck. Also, people act as if women go to breastfeed their kids and are just like, breastfeeding time, everyone's husband, gather round, time for the booby show. Like, no! The goal is not to give someone a free show and the amount of breast that actually shows is like a bikini. So if you're cool going to the beach and not going up to women, like, how indecent of you? Leave the breastfeeding mom alone. The whole point of breasts are to feed children. And if you can't separate what the breast's actual function is from what you would like them to be, Maybe you shouldn't be in public at all. I can't believe that this is even a thing that people get mad about. End rant. Mm. It's hard to drink this quickly. That's my only issue. Next, the ever-changing girls. I would buy bras and one hour they would fit and then the next hour they'd be too small. And then the next hour they'd be too big. And then the next hour they would fit again. They're changing in size every hour based on how much milk there is. And then when they're too full, they just pour milk everywhere. I can't even tell you how many times I was having a conversation with a person and their eyes just slowly went like, and it's because my shirt was soaked. Like I had two big wet balls. Come on. Like I would get to the point of just like shoving paper towels in there. I was like a high schooler again, just like stuffing my bra, paper towels, nothing to see here. Don't touch them cause it'll crinkle. I'm really grateful to be past the whole breastfeeding phase because now my breasts can go back to the way that they once were, which apparently is nothing. Cheers to what they once were. Next, pumping. If you ever were wondering what the life is like as a dairy cow, have a baby and pump. Hee haw, hee haw, hee haw. After all the advances in technology, you'd think that these pumps would be a little bit quiet. Why are the pumps still so goddamn loud? One time we were camping, so I'm trying to discreetly pump in our tent and everybody's like, what the heck is happening? Hee haw, hee haw. Is she drilling something in there? Like, what is she? Hee haw, hee haw. They have these cups that go over and they're like these little cones that you stick over and they like yank your boobs in and out. I made the biggest mistake of looking at myself in the mirror while I was pumping once. Oh, it's not pretty. Next, the thirst is real. With both of my kids, the weirdest thing happened. Every time I went to nurse them and they latched, I would just get like beyond thirsty, like deserted island, haven't had water in three days, thirsty. I never had the thought to be like, oh, I should probably get some water and like leave it near me for when I'm nursing. Or once your kid latches, it's like game over. You're stuck for a good half an hour. So I'd try to signal my husband like, Pat, Pat. <laughs> then I'm pretty sure it's a reflex that your body has to make sure that you're hydrating while you're nursing because making breast milk takes so much water. So if this has happened to you, please leave it in the comments because I'm super confused about it to this day and I wanna know that I'm not alone. Oh, there it is. Oh. 
the last, the end. When it's time to wean your child, it is a bundle of mixed emotions. You're happy to have your boobs back. You're sad because then your child is not depending on you anymore. My first child nursed forever. And it got to a point where I had to say, you're eating like three adult sized meals a day. It's time. And then with my youngest, he was exclusively breastfed until he was eight months old. And then I got a full-time job and I just had to quit cold turkey because being a working mom is really tough. And then trying to pump on top of it is even tougher. I was the one who suffered more from that because I just felt so badly about it. He didn't really care. He was like, oh, milk's in a bottle today. All right. After both of those experiences, I realized that no matter how my baby is getting fed, as long as he's being fed, that's good and I'm doing a good job. And for any moms out there who are struggling with breastfeeding or who have had to stop breastfeeding or who couldn't from the start, you're doing fine too. But if you are a person who's gonna judge a mother for nursing, just know that she is not doing it for anything besides the sole purpose of benefiting her child. So either give her a high five or walk on by. So that's all I got for today. I'm Hannah, your friendly neighborhood wine mom, and if you've had any experience breastfeeding or lack thereof, leave it in the comments because this couch, this is a safe place. I wanna hear about everyone's experience and I don't want anybody to feel judged. And I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my little personal bottle of champagne, it's so cute. While I still can because I, while I still can. Oh, that sounds like I'm getting, I'm not getting pregnant, stop. Kevin, don't give me that look. Kevin's behind the camera like not having any babies soon. So I'm going to finish my little cute bottle of champagne because I can and because I earned it. And this one is for all of you women breastfeeding out there and all of you pregnant women out there because I know a lot of pregnant women watch this and, and this one's for you. And as soon as you pop that baby out, come over and have a glass with me. Till next time. Ah. Uh, Please include this, just so everyone knows how pretty I am.